to everyone guys today in this video i will just show you that how we can uh, create our task name uh, how we can create our task name and how we can fix our task and we can just show that our task has been fixed or not so anyway when i will explain um, you will just get it now so first of all for this video i'm using odoo 16 community edition as you can see on my screen and the ide which i'm using as usual is visual studio code and um, the prerequisite thing that for this video you should have installed the project app that is free in your uh, odoo apps odoo 16 if you go there in apps odoo apps and you just type there project so you can see this project you can see this application there and you can just install free of charge you don't need to buy the um, enterprise edition anyway so i have already installed once you will install you can go in apps and you can click on project and when you will click on project you can see my task tab there so you can click my task there so you can see you can create your tasks here and you can also link the, those tasks in your project or you know it depends on the requirement how you want to do uh, guys uh, let me just explain uh, my uh, object is not to just talk about the basic thing that how we can do in Odoo and all that stuff uh, the main thing uh, why I'm creating all these videos to just uh, get you know about all these real times challenges and real-time problems which I faced uh, when I was starting development uh, in Odoo but I was not getting um, any kind of good videos at those at that time uh, where internet at mostly YouTube is full of basic stuff you know how you can create a button and many to one field one to many field but not talking about all these problems which we face uh, whenever we we go out in market and whenever we are starting job and you know so well the I, I don't take too much um, time of you so well this is why I'm just doing these real things okay so in my tasks if you create you can create tasks here so let's suppose I can say that new test task we will be doing uh, or testing this one today so when you create this this task has been created you can just assign to the customer and sale order team and all that stuff okay on this task I have created this boolean field which is a fix so this is this is to tell uh, ourselves or audience that this task which has been created has been fixed or not okay so for that what I have done uh, my custom add-on folder is customization and in this folder what I have done first of all I have just created project dot uh, project underscore task dot pi so this file I have created and if you can see here this is the just um, normal inheritance process which you can see in my previous videos so I have just created a class here project task extension and I have inherited project dot task so why I have inherited project dot task because if you can go there and click on any task here you can see here model is project dot task this is exactly what I have done here and after doing that I have created a new field there which is to fix which is a boolean field and string is just a fix very simple okay um, after creating this field I have just uh, made it visible to the view so for that purpose I have created a new a view file which is in view and the same file project underscore task dot XML you can create any name a file and here in this file um, before I just want to tell you when I created this pi file I also added an init file from dot import project underscore task after that I created a view file which is product project underscore task dot XML in this file the same process in record ID I have just given um, ID so any ID you can just given in here after that I have given um, 
name, which is project or task extension form view, any name you can you can give it here. Here you just need to give the uh, model, which is project or task. I have just shown you from where I have got that name of the model. And after that, inherit ID. This inherit ID is for the form uh, ID where you want to uh, add your field or any customization you're doing. So to get that inherit ID, what you can do. So because I want to make visible here, fix which I have already done. So how you can get the inherit inheritance ID by clicking here. But how you can see this button here if your uh, debug mode is on. So uh, how you can make a debug mode on either you can go in settings and if you go in that you can click here activate the developer mode and deactivate the developer mode or you can add an extension here um, in your browser debug extension it depends if you have google chrome or um, uh, microsoft edge or any other browser you can just install the extension there so i have installed this extension here which enables uh, developer mode whenever i want so i can go back in project and in tasks and then click on any task and then i can check the inheritance id by clicking this tab edit view form when i click that i can get inheritance id here uh, an external id this external id i need to give in that field inherit id so this is it after that we go in our ide which is visual studio code so and here i have just given that id after that i need to add my field as in my previous videos you know how to add a field in a previous form by doing xpath and here i said that i want to make my field visible to fix after tag ids position after that's it and you can see in front end that my field is already there fix and i can click this boolean field on and off okay the project today is after adding this field what i want to do i want that when i will click on this fix button it will automatically um, add a fix string before my task name you get that this is very useful scenario where you know whenever we are creating our tasks we always want to let know that our task has been fixed or not so how we can do that this is a uh, so whenever i click fix this boolean field automatically this task will show that it has been fixed and whenever i will just uncheck it that fix thing will go away how we can do that okay uh, first of all okay first of all what we need to do we can just we need to um, write a function there but before that here i need to do something i will say uh, name fields dot character and i would say string string is name and after that Compute get um, task name, any name you can give, and after that, uh, I would say store is equal to true, and I would say required, or you can just leave that. Okay, um, first of all, why I have done that. Uh, let me just show something to you so if i go here in the task so this field is called name right guys so how i will know if i go in and click this button i can see view fields so i just want to show you the field name so already there is a field there name so in this field if i click here so this is a character field this is a required field this is a stored is equal to true, which I have done. This is indexed, copied. So everything, all, so already this is a field. So what I'm doing, I'm just changing the characteristics of this field. I'm adding something else. So what I'm saying that everything 
remains the same on this field only add this function which i'm going to write here right so i hope you understand this so this is what i have just done the same name name which is already there fields dot character already character field string is name compute so i have just added store is equal to true already uh, it is true so i we even if we add it or not it doesn't matter and here i have just added this compute underscore get task name that's it so it will add a function on this name okay so now we just need to write our function we say define copy this so i already shown you in my previous videos how to write a compute function so this is also a compute function and what we are saying here in this compute function that uh, first i will i can write a loop here record in self and what we say here we say if record dot the name of our field is to fix we say that if it's already checked when we check this we say that record dot name the name of that record we just want that we want to add this string and in this string i would say fix this is a string and this plus we can we are using concatenate concatenate um, the strings with each other I would say record dot name right and if it's unchecked if it's not checked then I would say record dot name is record dot name dot replace so it will replace this string with record.name. So I hope you get it simple. Comma, and we replace it empty string. So what I have done here, it's very simple function. I just say, I just wrote in this function that um, if this Boolean field is checked, then uh, record name is uh, we are adding a string fix just this string with record dot name so task name else if it's not checked then it's uh, if already fix string is there it will just replace it with the empty string it's simple okay and with this compute function we can also add a decorator which is api dot depends and because it is depending on this field and it also depends on name as well okay so let's run this and upgrade our service and we see that because i have just changed the characteristics of the name field so that's why i would say to just upgrade this is general customization which is the name of my custom module so let's upgrade any errors i hope so not okay thank you no errors so if we go in project application and then we click on tasks and then we choose this task which is new test task okay so at this time this task is new test task this is the name of this task so i'm just going to check this fix voila so when i click this fix button automatically you can see fix is there so let me just save this record so i just go back and in the Kanban view, you can see that this task next to this task name, new test task fix is already there. So let me just click this and I have, I have just found it out that this task has not been fixed. It 
some someone just did it by mistake so what i do i just uncheck it here and voila that is gone so click 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 so it's gone on and off what how it is happening just because of that api decorator depends so it's just changing regular okay we check with another task this is another task room one decoration already created task so i click here so that is fixed i uncheck it and that is gone so i hope you like this video guys um and that's it just encourage me to come up with more live solutions more interactive solutions and uh, please if you like this video like it uh, share it with your friends and subscribe it please thank you bye bye